I have acted with complete integrity and my conscience is clear. I look forward to the future judge-led inquiry where my role will be examined in a proper and calmer environment. Angry words from the now former Met Assistant Commissioner John Yates, effectively forced out of his job of a phone hacking just hours after his boss, Sir Paul Stevenson, handed in his resignation. The two most high-profile casualties of the scandal can look forward to a grilling from MPs later. But they're not the main draw today, just the warm-up. Later, James Murdoch and his dad appear before the Commons, Culture, Media and Sports Committee. Rupert Murdoch vying to defend his organisation against some of the total lies he claims have been levelled against it. The News Corp boss has faced MPs before, but former chairman of the Lords Communications Committee, Lord Fowler, says back then they went to see him. He was uh, surrounded uh, by executives, his own executives. He was the only man, however in the whole hour who actually spoke and did the speaking, but he was relaxed and I think it was because he was in his own office that he was very frank, but it obviously, that was a very different setting. They'll be followed by ex-editor of the News of the World and now former chief executive of News International, Rebecca Brooks. A former employee, News of the World whistleblower, Sean Hoare, found dead in suspicious circumstances. Sadly, just the latest twist in the tale. David Cameron recognising the gravity of the situation. The PM cutting short his African trip so he can face his own grilling from MPs on Wednesday.